everyone, happy Monday. So today I have to take Mr. Miggy to the vet. He has to get a vaccination and a heartworm check and I'm a little bit early getting ready. It's 12.35, so as you can see, I got my winter hat on. Um, all I gotta do is throw on my coat and boots, get his harness on and get a leash and we're out of here. But we're a little early. We don't have to be there till two. So I thought I would um, unbox a product I got. I get a lot of emails. I don't talk about it a lot, but I get a lot of emails of companies wanting me to review their products or their, they send me things for video games clothing, uh, stuff that has nothing to do with my dog channel. So I refuse a lot of um, companies who want me to share their products um, on my videos. But this one I was really interested in. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but I said, okay, we will try it out. So I thought, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna um, try it out on this video because it's something I will use when I groom them and I'm not gonna be grooming them for another couple weeks. Um, trying to get through most of the cold, cold spell. I don't want to cut them short right now. Um, so, but maybe next time I give them a bath. Next time I give them a bath, even if I don't groom them, we could try this out. But I thought I would um, open it up on camera, kind of do an unboxing. Um, I don't know what that is yet. <laughs> But what it is, I hope I wasn't showing my address. No, I wasn't. <laughs> I'll blur it if it shows anything. What it is, is a um, dog and cat, let me put this over here. Uh, dog and cat hands-free pet dryer. This is what the box looks like. It doesn't show the product on the box at all. Um, they said that you hook it right to your dog's crate and put them in the crate um, and it dries them. Um, for some of my dogs, like Max, Grant especially, um, those are about the two that really can't stand to get uh, blow dried. I thought this might be something I could use, especially for Mr. Grant. Max will let me do it, he doesn't like it, but he, he will let me do it. Grant, on the other hand, we all know my we all know my issues with grooming Mr. Grant. So I thought maybe this would be something that would work for him. I have had to um, go back my round table grooming table I bought for the island that it's like a turntable. I can't use it with Mr. Grant. He wants to jump off it constantly and get onto the counter of the island. So I haven't been using it. I'm back to grooming him on the floor. It's the only way I can get Mr. Grant groomed. So I still need to wash his beard. I've got pretty much everything done except for his feet and his beard I need to trim up. Um, but I need my husband to help me with washing his face because he won't let me wash, wash his face anymore. He used to be okay with it and now he just... He wants to bite me and he wants to jump out of the sink. So, um, <laughs> it's just a struggle. It's a struggle. So, okay, this is what it looks like. I'm trying not to let stuff fall on the floor so the dogs don't mess with it. Okay, it's called, it's P-E-T-I-E -E Tech. Um, I'll type it on the, street, the screen here. So, this is what it looks like. Now it says it's supposed to connect to your crate, to your dog crate. Um, I don't see any kind of hooks or anything on the back to where I could hook it. Maybe you just sit it in there and I thought it was supposed to hook on the dog crate. And then we have a, um, I better get scissors. Hold on guys. It's not like extreme bitter cold right now, so they've been outside a lot today. We are supposed to get a uh, storm. Uh, I think it's supposed to start late Tuesday night, rain, and then it may turn to like ice, sleet, and then lots of snow. So 
after I take Miggy to the vet today, I'm headed to the store and getting everything I need. I also have to pick up a couple medications for Mozzie at Sam's Club. So I've got a lot of running around to do after uh, Miggy's appointment because I don't want to be out in the storm. Um, yeah, I was hearing like 15 inches. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully that tapers down. <laughs> Hopefully it does. Okay, so then we have this little remote control on here. Um, it looks like you can set like a timer and then there's uh, different modes here. Cool wind, hot wind, high speed, hot wind, low speed. And then of course the on and off button. Let me look here. Um, yeah, I don't see where it connects. I'm thinking you just sit it in the crate. Okay, let's see what this is. They did send me a, they sent me an email asking if I needed a crate. And I told them, no, I have a crate. Uh, but they still sent me a pop-up, uh, pop-up, like, travel crate. So that was nice of them to send, even though I didn't need it. I don't know what's going on here. Okay. Uh, what is this? Is this a pop-up crate too? Does this look like... <laughs> is that what that looks like to you guys? It looks kind of like it, but how would it stand up? Oh, maybe this is to go over the crate? I better read the directions. Maybe this will go over the crate to keep the heat in. Doesn't really say. Oh, okay, here we go. I guess I should have my glasses on. If you need to use this product after bathing your pet, it needs to be used with a semi-enclosed um, kennel or pet carrier of appropriate size and then it can achieve the best heat drying effect so I'm assuming that's what that's for so you can enclose which I have crate covers so I could just use that because this is kind of maybe this is breathable but this part's plastic um yeah so I don't know if I would use this that came with it, I would probably just use my um, crate cover I have, which is made out of material. I'll try it that way. Um, let me um, stop the video here. I'm gonna plug this in and we'll see how loud it is because it may freak the boys out if it's too loud. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, got it plugged in. Um, here's the name of it, a little bit more up close there. Um, the dogs are wondering what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, we're going to go to on mode. This is, can you guys hear it? This is, um, hot wind, low speed. Let it heat up a minute here. getting warm. It's not too loud. That would be tolerable, I would think. Okay, let's try um, hot wind high speed. You can feel it way back here. I can see why you would have to cover the um, crate up. Here's you can tell a difference in the noise. It's not loud like a blow dryer at all. But I can see why, since it doesn't blow real hard like a blow dryer as well, why you would need to cover the crate up to hold that um, warm air in. And by hot, it's not like if the dog was laying up against it i can put my hand right up here it's not it's not gonna burn them 
Okay, let's try cool wind high speed. Still, the cool wind still has some, um, a little bit of heat to it. Uh, I mean, a little bit. So if you were worried about your dog leaning up against it, um, this is definitely the um, setting you want. But I would only use the cool wind probably when it's warm outside, not when it's cool. Yeah, and like I said, it has um, different, it has a timer, so you can set it for how long you want it to be on. try this out um, next time I give I'll definitely want to try it out on Mr. Grant because okay. he's the one I have the most problem with <laughs> with everything about grooming like I said earlier so yeah so next time I wash Mr. Grant maybe I'll try it out this weekend today's Monday so maybe I'll try it out this weekend give him a bath um, and put that in there with him and we'll see how he reacts to it being in there since he's the most testy with everything. Um, and we'll also time and see how long it takes to dry him. Um, so yeah. All right. I just wanted to share that product with you guys since I got it today, actually got delivered today. So, um, I'll do another video for you guys and let you know how it works out. Um, I'll pop right here on the screen how much it is because I don't even know how much it is. I didn't um, investigate it um, too much when they sent me the email. So I'll pop it here on the screen um, and I'll put, a link, I'll put a link down below in case you want to check it out too. Maybe um, I'm assuming it's probably on Amazon. Um, so if you want to read reviews, if there's reviews or anything else about the product, but we'll definitely try this out this weekend. All right. We'll talk to you guys again in the next video. Bye.